Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this place. We thank you for these people. And most of all, we thank you for your presence, your Holy Spirit moving as with the sound of a wind or the flames of a fire or the comforting word or the presence of your believers. Lord, we thank you for this day and we dedicate everything to you. We dedicate especially our four baptismal candidates. We, uh, we dedicate to you our presence. And Lord, in return, we pray for the baptism of your Holy Spirit here today. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. And all of God's people said, Amen. 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 We're going to cut right to the chase. Does anyone, as we started last Sunday, is a celebration. Last Sunday we heard the stories of six of our, of our congregation, of our community, who said yes to following Jesus Christ, and yes to baptism, and four of them want to be baptized here today in the river. And there's significance of why we do this. If you look at the, the Bible verse on the top of your uh, bulletin, it comes from Romans. And in our church, in our confession of faith here in the recent years, we allow different modes of baptism, whether it's immersion, whether it's pouring, or whether it's sprinkling. Today we will immerse. And the imagery, one of the images it comes from is from Romans chapter 6, verse 3 and onward. Do you not know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death. And that's the significance of what you're going to see today when we walk down the river. We will first bury our candidates. We first have a very short funeral service <laughs> as we bury them to death, to sin, to the grasp of sin. But the victorious part of us and our message is that that's not where our celebration ends. Look what happens then as we go on. As there were buried, we bury them with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too have new life. And that's when I, as a pastor, and with the help of the deacons, we raise them back up in Christ. So just as we die to sin, we are raised to new life. And that's the celebration. Amen? Amen. So when you see us bury, I want you to think of your own life. And then when you see us raise back to life, I want you to celebrate that within your own life or the commitment you're thinking about making. And then you can cheer as you see this candidate, whichever the candidate is, come back up. Today signifies a change of belief, a change of behavior, and a change of belonging. I'm going to focus on the belonging because part of what happens too when they get baptized is now they become members of this body of Christ. We're going to give them each a towel. We give them each a certificate. That's their personal understanding of what happened today. But we're also going to give them the church directory. That is the body into which they are joining and to which you are welcoming them, welcoming them into. Now some of you are thinking, now wait a minute, we used to give them Bibles. Now we're giving them church directories? We did give them Bibles. We give our candidates Bibles at the beginning of baptismal uh, preparation so that the Bibles aren't just opened once, look at their name at baptism, put it back in the box, and then take it out ten years later. We use the Bibles. They have Bibles. You have gifted them with Bibles. And they're already outlined, they already have written stuff in it, it is already part of their daily work and their daily life. So, if you're worried that we didn't uh, gift them that, we did, uh, as this whole process began. So, today we celebrate a change of life, a change of belief, a change of belonging. As we bury to sin, as we raise back up in the victory that is all of ours. Christ new life as we decide to follow Jesus Christ and one of the things I told them is this is not a graduation this is not a graduation this simply marks not just simply it very profoundly marks 
the beginning of a journey, of a wrestling match, to wrestle a blessing from God on the journey of life. A decision to say, yes, I have decided to follow Jesus. I'm going to invite Jenny forward to, uh, to uh, lead us in a song. This is a standing song. So please stand. And yeah, put your bulletin on the bench so you can clap. We will follow, we will follow Jesus. We will follow. said yes to all of these. But as we mentioned, baptism isn't a private affair. It is in the body of the whole community, and I want you to hear how they answer these questions. Um, the process has been, I don't know, strenuous, but they had to write out answers. They couldn't just say yes to these questions. They had to say why yes to these questions. And then they also had to sit down with the deacons and share their story. So this yes is not taken lightly, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask this question of all of you at the same time. And you'll answer personally, just I do or yes out loud as I prompt you, uh, but all at the same time. So it's like I'm asking it to you personally, but you're going to answer all at the same time. So Peter. Kinley, Cody, Elijah, do you renounce the evil powers of this world and turn to Jesus Christ as your Savior? Do you put your trust in His grace and love and promise to obey Him as your Lord? If so, answer, I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, God's Son, our Lord, and in the Holy Spirit, the Giver of life? If so, answer, I do. Do you accept the Word of God as guide and authority for your life? If so, answer, I do. Are you willing to give and to receive counsel in this congregation? If so, answer, I am. Are you ready to participate in the mission of the church? If so, answer, I am. Amen. You heard their yeses. You can celebrate. Yeah. So with these yeses in mind, we're going to go down, we're going to go wade into the water, and the candidates will come, we're going to be right in front of this, this little deck here, you follow that path, and many of you can stand on the deck, but I would invite the most of you who are willing and able, come into the river and stand around the hole. If you're kids, come right up to the hole and see what's going to happen here today, okay? And for those of you who are staying on the shore, there is a very good view. You should be able to hear everything. But if you could, if you could allow those who have family being baptized at that, that time to be on the railing first, and then we'll rotate through so there's a little bit of rotation. Let's head on down to the river. <laughs> Now that the 
Holy Spirit, fully release in him your gifts for your work in this kingdom to lead him and to guide him both now and always. Amen.
raise your hand as a sign of blessing or touch the person in front of you. Let's get in tight as, as uh, Jenny offers the prayer.